welcome back hope you're all well I've got a BT 120C steel post hole driller I'm going to put a new carb on a Chinese carb it's in the box still hope you can see it ok it seems to be going out of focus the lighting's a bit weird at the moment in here um, yeah so I'm going to just fit a new carb to it then I'm going to pressure test the tank I've got the car wolf. Got a funny thing it might have a little split around the back of the tank. It could just be dirt in the um not the seam. But uh, I think we'll have to pressure test and make sure. Uh, so it's only a Chinese car I'm gonna put on and then obviously a new filter. Now we can see that. This is only a backup machine um, so if I just mentioned I've got this off because I'm doing other things to it all the case and off anyway but I've got it off so that would normally have, you wouldn't normally have to take all that off now so I've got to just just do it and film it at the same sort of time and see what happens This particular one's got a uh, Chinese um, cinder kit on it, cinder and piston kit. And according to the owner, he hasn't done it, and he's owned it about ten years. It's uh, it's ex rental, so it's had a hard life. I've um, compression tested it, and it were at 125 pounds, so that's okay. I've had the exhaust off, and looking there, piston looks really, really good. So I know no chips or marks or car and build up. So that all looks good, but it's not worth the ag the aggro of um. It's not worth the aggro of stripping a car and cleaning it. We can just put a Chinese one on it. He's happy with that. Um, what I was mentioning on that as well. I notice most people on here they get a two stroke car and they first thing they do is strip the whole thing down and new gaskets and clean it up and all the rest of it. Uh, what else we got clipped on here? Oh the choke lever, I wonder if we can just pull it off. I'm going to just put off when I pull the car off. I've got the sprog still connected, I was going to look there so you can see it but just remember about that. <laughs> but, uh, I'll show you how that goes on a bit later in the video, I think. Bit of water, really, I can't sort of stand where I want to stand. I really want to stand where you are. <laughs> that's, that's the cover out of the way, that just slides off. But I'm just trying to get this. I'm going to pull it that way. There you go. Carves off, I can see it apart from the petrol pipe. Um, yeah, as I was saying, a lot of people they strip the top down and the bottom top down, you know, top and the bottom down, uh, and we put all this, you see them clean them up, put all the gaskets on. Um, I don't do that, I uh, pressure test mine. I've got, I'm sure I've got a video of me doing it, if not, I'll do a video. Um, because normally you normally only have to do the top or the bottom, you know, you have to do you know, one side or the, sort of the meter inside or you do the um, prime inside. Um, obviously it saves a lot of work if you can pressure test one of these. I'm sure I've done, I'm sure I've done a video on it, but if not, so if not, I'll do a video on it. But that's one carb off. Um, the gasket's fine, I'm going to reuse the gasket. This is all to your primer, I don't know where you can see it. This is to your primer. Once we clean, we have to clean and fit. I have to clean it up before I put it back on, but I won't bore you with that. Uh, I've got to get my gloves out of the van. <laughs> Stick your old two stroke. Let's have a little look in there. Looks good. 
the plug is loose so there's no real compression there. Piston looks really well, it's got a few lines in this side. Hmm. Has got a bit of a deep groove this side. Yeah, it's got a bit of wear. It has got a bit of wear on the rings and uh and um that but I think this side guys say it's got a compression of 125. I suppose the ideal is about 130. Um so I'm I'm thinking that's fine. Like I say we're gonna pressure test this next. Uh, if it is cracked, if it is cracked, I will just want to pattern one of these as well. Tank, because they come with the hoses, the lid, and everything for about tenner. I uh, don't want to spend a lot of money on this because it's only a, a backup. So, uh, oh, I'll wipe my hands off. I've got to turn the camera off <laughs> and set up the t testing gear for the uh, for the tank. Alright, I've got my gear out, so, right, just bone this one off what is, block this one off what is the uh, inlet, and the idea of that is, is you blow in the, uh, just the primer one, basically, which is pump there, that way any crap in the filter, it's all travelling the same way, you're not trying to blow back into the filter. That's the, the idea, the lid's on. So I've got a video on this, but like, so I'll just do this how I'll be doing it normally. Um, I'm going to spend a lot of time on it or anything. The only thing I haven't brought down is the uh, soapy water. It takes a little while to pump these, I'll get the gauge so you can see it hopefully. It takes a little while to pump these up. Hasn't been used for a little while this gun, so Sorry, look, I can't set it myself. I'm trying to remember what these pressure is on these valves. I think it's more about seven, and that's what it's going down to, and then back to five. It's going down, 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 down there. Yeah, it's definitely leaking somewhere. Be assist, so you have to check the system first, the bits you put in, and then check it. Yeah, we're dropping right down to zero. Uh, I think they hold about seven pounds, I can't remember, it's, yeah, seven pounds, I think it's good. So. But the idea is you still have to have that um, vacuum, um, stuff about to suck back in because if you didn't, you have a like uh, you're running about five pound or whatever in there, but it's still got a suck in to make up the uh, loss of the petrol. So we should have what we call vapor lock, and you can barely get the petrol through. So even though it builds the pressure up, it still needs to um, it still needs to be out of vent. So if you go the other way, turn this lever on here, like so. That shouldn't. Get a suction, you find it gets a little bit, but that's nothing, you know, it's got to cope with it. You wouldn't be sucking like that, that amount of petrol out of the tank. So that side, it seems okay. That's normally just a cap, but it's just pumping it up at the moment. It's remember, you've got to pump all that, but all that to fill a tank up with the pressure. So that looks like trying to get some soapy water. So I'll nip back up indoors and get some soapy water again. So yeah, because it's dropped down to five. That's about four. <laughs> and it's still dropping, so I'm going to go get some soapy water. Right, hopefully that's focused in. I've just done a bit, it wasn't very focused. Um, can't find my squeezy bottle. I think the dog's edit, it and I've got another one uh, it's indoors and high down here so I've no idea where it is so I've just used this it's only an empty one with some soapy water put in it um, pumping it up get some pressure in it 
but I haven't found nothing yet. I've checked all my all my gear. I've got a funny feeling it might be on the back of the back of the tank somewhere. I can't see it to be honest. Nor can you because my back's in the way. Can't hear the air coming out anywhere either. But we're not talking great pressures, are we? Um, so what I'm going to do now, if I can, is figure a way of hanging it upside down to test the cap. I'm going to do that next. Keep pressing the button. <laughs> I don't know where you can see that actually. I want to go up a bit more. I think it'd be knocked a bit. There you go. Right. Obviously this is a tank now. I've got a funny feeling I can feel the pressure coming around from the cap because it could be that it sometimes be over tightened and stretch the thread. Did you, I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Let me move you somehow so you can see it. Hold on. Don't let it drop on the floor really. Hold on. Just in case it pulls out. Let me pull that out. Alright, let's see if I can get you, I'm not going to get you high enough there, I'm going to let me turn the viewfinder around, no, I think what I'll do, I'll take you off the tripod and then I'll turn it, sort of got you well, you can sort of see, this is a cap there, what's in the way there, oh, that's, the, that's the frame, I can't move that. I'll just get this bit more, that auger in the middle, there, yeah, that's the cap, and that's where it's leaking from inside the cap, uh, so it could be the threads on this, or it could be the cap itself, it's not worth me messing around, I'll just change it, oop, kind of get so you can see it, it's slipping about a bit on the, why is that doing that all the time, let's get this a bit more sorted, So you can see ya. Right, I'm gonna plug, plug this back in. Probably, I ain't got a lot more soapy water there, funny enough though, because I've took a couple of different takes of this. So we'll pump it up, and hopefully you'll see bubbles, but it's mainly this side. So, but hopefully you'll see the size of the bubbles once it bubbles. It's just, actually, it's not building up a lot of pressure at all now. Why is that? Come on. Ah, it's getting worse. I'll force that little bit. I think we screw this wrong. <laughs> that's, that's what happens to them. That's what messes them up. Hopefully we can get enough to... Come on, that's it. Oh, there comes the bubbles. Did you see it? Can you see them? Not really, I don't suppose, on that side. I don't know what's there where you are. They just looked in the viewfinder, come on. The bubbles are pouring out this side. Obviously, you can see them expanding on the bottom there. Hopefully, you can see it. When I take the tank, well, when I take the tank off to replace it, I'll, uh, I'll show you on that. It'll be part two. We'll do this in two parts. Uh, yeah, because obviously if these are leaking, they can't build up the pressure, and they won't run right. The mixture won't be right. Um, they lack lack power and everything. Poor engine is working his nuts off to, to build up pressure in here. This is what you do when you prime them. Basically, you're, you're building up pressure in here. So, like I said, these are cheap enough to replace. Just Chinese. This is all. Everything that's been replaced on this has been Chinese, so why tank ain't gonna make a difference. So uh, that'd be part two. Um, I have got a video, like I say, on doing the pressure of testing the tank anyway, so 
you can have a look at that and uh, make it, you know, see for yourself. Um, you'll get tanks where they leak around the petrol pipes and people say, well you've probably got one yourself, one or two yourself, things like that would leak. But that engine is work, would work so much better if it's all sealed because um, it's working its nuts out to pressurise the tank and uh, like I say, if you over pressurise that's no good either, it has only got like, a slight uh, limits on it so the cap does have to a draw uh, like a vacuum in and to maintain the pressure and what happens is they get over tightened and uh, it messes the thread up in there but like I say, time I buy a cap um, I could just replace the whole lot, because it's a customer's one replace the whole lot, it comes with all the pipes and everything so why mess around it's uh, what, four T7 screws and it's done hope that makes sense if you like this sort of stuff, this small engine stuff subscribe, ring the bell and uh, thumbs up would be good um, yeah, and I'll see you in part two with this one Bye for now.